Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl, Sunshine Monet L. Today is 818. So, this is the first day of the first decade of the eighth month, right? We are in 818. This whole month is all about double eights, high highs and low lows. Please be mindful of your emotions. Please be mindful of your solar plexus chakra. Be aware of other people's solar plexus chakras and their unawareness of how they're implementing them. Give people grace. Some people are really working on themselves and working on not controlling other people as they learn to control themselves and control their environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, then some people are just intentionally doing it because you know eight is the energy that rules over the elders and the witches. So some people are intentionally utilizing their solar plexus chakra to manipulate people place the things situation so you know it is what it is but that's what's happening so you know we already you know we all know day one this is the day of the aries energy new beginnings can you feel it we love it here this is the day of new beginnings this is the day of enforcement everything starts with the thought the gut controls the mind so you know everything's happening in the gut your gut is where your sun is at that's your helios right and you're letting it guide the way and set the tone of how you're going to spend the next 30 or 31 31 days right i don't know don't give me the line anyway We'll find out later on, right? <laughs> so, you know, this is the intentional, this is the initial energy. So you're going to put that into this month eight. You're taking that new beginnings and you're giving birth to something new, right? Because one plus eight equals nine. So we have the internal and external shock, uh, internal and external solar plexus shock. We're coming together to give birth to what it is that you want in your space, right? So what kind of tone do you want to set for this month eight? What are you enforcing? What do you want to build on? What do you want to destruct, right? You know, what transformations you want to have? What do you feel powerful in? And where do you want to keep exercising your power? Where do you feel in control? Where do you feel out of control? You know, where do you want that balance at? These are questions. What are your answers? Journal them. You ain't got to tell me. But if you want to tell me, I definitely want to know about it. Anyway. So we're going to get born. We're going to make a utopia for ourselves. We're going to find a sense of completion because we're utilizing our internal, external side of our solar plexus chakra to make shit happen for ourselves. We are manifesting. We're going back into the womb, into the waters. Nine deals with the ninth house, which is Sagittarius energy of expansion and abundance, the sacral chakra, right? And that's the space that's expressing where your Neptune or your your uh pisces energy is which is your like internal my yacht you know that nervous system it's like the good and bad angel on our shoulders that we saw in those old cartoons or whatever that's like that's like your solar plexus chakra too and your sacral chakra right yeah we love it here <laughs> but just in a in the sense of the um sacral chakra it's like you know neptune is giving you the my yacht and hey you should do this and you should do it that way and do it this way and the sagittarius is like all right this is how we're going to express it you know what I'm saying? So let that nine energy flow. You know, it's going to create what you want to create. It's, what's, it's what your gut is telling your mind to do. So allow it to be, right? So we're going to take that nine. We're going to put it into the year of eight, right? This is the year of transformation. This is the year of the wood dragon. This is the year of death and rebirth, building and destroying. This is the year of the solar plexus chakra. This is the year of enforcement of occultisms. Some of you guys are building occults. Some of you guys are destroying occults. This is the rise and fall of empires as Pluto sits between Aquarius and Capricorn sitting in our root chakra of social awareness, social justice, and electronic communication, as well as sitting in that uh, constellation of our infrastructure, our authority, you know what I'm saying? Uh, our roots, and us being rooted upward as well as being rooted downward and in the, the ethers as well as in the keter keter and the keter as well as in our malkuth right so you know we have transformations happening in that space um so we're going to take that nine of our enforcement of our solar plexus chakra and we're going to put it into that year of eight and we're going to come up with one and seven you're going to have knowledge in that and you're going to go inward and you're going to speak to your internal god or you know if god is still outside of you hey it's your business that's your reality you know what i'm saying you know go there and when you get that intellect seven also deals with the libra skills making sure see we still get an opportunity to go back to the month of seven right making sure that what's going on inside of your heart is being expressed on the outside and you're recollecting all that knowledge that you got during the month of seven and you're asking yourself yo is this is this in alignment with all the work i did for the past 31 days you know am i still in alignment i worked so hard i was so diligent in that month of seven and building equality and balance and harmony in my space working on my bonds and my contracts and all these things like that am i still in alignment with that balance and harmony that i was working so hard to achieve back then right then my utilizing my knowledge your answers will let you know how you build and destroy as today is the day of eight ashe so we got like a triple eight day <laughs> all right let's start with the astrological report we start with a day off with a 12 percent wanted crescent moon we're in that moon of cleansing you know now we're in the moon of destruction 
cleansing the intangible things, our thought process, that one, you know, that, uh, you know, all the intent, our thoughts, our habits, our emotions, our, you know, way of doing things, anything in the intangible realm. That's what we are cleansing. Moon rising at 2.32 a.m. and setting at 6.49 p.m. We are in cancer with the mindset, right? Remember I told you, it's water, water, water. You know, we're going inward. That is that seven God. That could be that nine of that womb being born. You know, that could be all the eights of the water transformations, right? And our emotional self. We are in Gemini. So this is like cleansing what's go our communications, our, um, our thoughtfulness, our relationships in that community of Gemini. The community of Gemini more so deals with your parents, your grandparents, your cousins, your siblings, people in your neighborhood, like a tri-city area, you know, people you went to school with, things like that nature. We're in the second house with this, so we're working on our uh, our priorities, our wealth, our, you know, levels of love, familial, community, uh, friendship love, romantic love, etc., etc. Our, you know, again, coming back to the pinnacles materialism our sense of self-worth and self-value all these things is getting cleansing in our community as well as going back into the womb into ourselves and our intellect sunrise at 5 58 a.m is setting at 8 12 p.m moon time the moon in teja posterior in conjunction at 7 39 a.m the moon is 5.6 degrees north minimal angle at 6 a.m moon is 5.6 degrees north and we're able to observe that at 5 10 a.m with a 5.6 degree north northwest separation and now this is not visible as we move more closer and closer to the new moon energy the south pole of the moon is tipped into view at 3 17 p.m and Capricornus is opposite the sun at 3.57 p.m. So we have that wand happening between Capricorn and Cancer. You know, the Capricorn constellation um, happenings with Cancer being in our experiences and the external side of our third eye, Ashe. So, you know, that's what I got for y'all today. Enjoy. <laughs>